Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Daily Porcupine, your ultimate Kotoko fan channel. If you're new here, you know what to do, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, I know you click this video because you want to know why Frank Mbella is not with the Kotoko squad. I know most of you might have an idea why he's not in the squad. For those of you that don't know why Frank Mbella is in the squad, I'll, I'm going to tell you. I'm also going to tell you why he hasn't been sold and why the transfer news rumors around him have cooled down so before we get into this video let's talk about the squad traveling to benin for the first leg of the um, calf champions league against rc cardiogo so the squad we have um, goalkeepers we have ibrahim danlad moise poati frederick asari then defenders we have christopher nate samuel apia yusuf mubarak andrews appeal mohammed sharif Nicholas Osei Bonsu, John Tediku. Midfielders, we have Richard Buidu, Emmanuel Sakodie, Enoch Morrison, Richmond Lamte, Enes Osei Poku. Then forwards, we have Isaac Opong, Georges Mfwege, Dixon Afukwa, Nicholas Mensa, Solomon Safo Taylor, Samuel Boateng, and Steven Mukwala. Today, Thursday, the team left the shores of Ghana. They will go to Togo because they are going by road. They go to Togo then before getting to Bene to play that game against ROC Kadiogo. So I think it's going to be an interesting game. I'm hoping we you know, beat them there. They come back to Ghana, we also beat them. Now, for those of you that don't know why Frank Ituga Mbella is not with the squad, Steven Amankona is also not with the squad. Um, Zeze, Eric Zeze, the new midfielder we bought, the Ivorian we bought, is also not with the squad. I don't know about that, but as for Frank Etuga Mbella, I heard that he's not fit enough for the trip. If you if you are following my social media, you know that he recently began training with the team, but he's not fully fit. But um, they are working, you know, to fast track his fitness and his recovery to, you know, enable him play in the second leg in Kumasi. But right now, he's not fit for the first leg. So the team has to travel or they have traveled without Frank Etuga Mbella, Steven Amankona and some other players. As for the transfer news, you know, before the season came to an end, like last season came to an end, everybody was talking about Udinese, uh, Real Madrid, a lot of clubs in Europe. We are looking for the services of Frank Etuga Mbella. What happened? What changed? Why are no clubs coming to sign him? That is what we are going to talk right now. Now, the first time um, a club came to, you know, scout Etuga and Bella, the news came out. Udinese president was in Ghana. They sent scouts to come and watch the, uh, what do you call it, the Ghana Premier League to get more, you know, insights on how he plays and how he will suit the team. Even Turkish teams came to look at Mbella to say, okay, this is how he's going to play. This is how he's going to help us. But everything have cooled down. What happened? Now, from what I heard, from the information I gathered, I heard that these clubs, they refuse to meet the price tag. Yes, they refuse to meet the price tag set by Kotoko. They want the player on loan. Some of them want loan with option to buy. A free loan, a free loan with an option to buy, which means they're going to cover the, uh, the, what do you call it, the wages of the player. Then if it's, you know, good for them, then they will pay Kotoko. You understand? Kotoko wants the money upright. The one that wants loan, Kotoko wants to pay the money and get the player. So we get a replacement. Get the uh, Pay the money, get the player. Pay the money, get the player. But they are all not meeting the price tag. This, this price tag, I have no idea what it is. I, being honest with you, I have no idea the amount Kotoko are calling or mentioning for Frankie Tuga and Bella. Bro, from everything I've heard, these clubs want loan or they want cheap because they say they are not sure. Even if they know that he's good, he has scored a lot of goals and they know what he's capable of, they still want to get him on a cheap, which Kotoko has refused to do that. Because Daniel Posa's administration has you know, made it clear that once a price tag is met, the player leaves. I think another option you have to say or another factor as to why he's at the club, you know, he has been injured and you can't go on trials or on loan or transfers uh, without being fit, fully fit 100%. So that could also mean that he has not been fit all this while. That's why he has not traveled out. But from what I heard, the offers they have been bringing to Kotoko did not meet the clubs, you know, 
um, price tag set for Frankie Tuka and Bella. About that game against Kadiogo, I'm expecting Kotoko to you know go out. They have learned a lot in Sudan and will be putting to test the new coach Sidu Zabo or Zebo will be you know urging the boys let's get a win in this first leg in Kumas we are going to beat them I know we are coming here not to lose but let's try and get a win even if it's 1-0 there is no way I would say Kadiogo will come to Kumasi and beat Kotoko at the Babaya Stadium impossible so let's get a win and I think they are going to do that so let's support the team online if you are if you can go to Bene too, no problem. Support the team any way you can. And I think we'll be victorious in this particular tie, the first leg and second leg, and eventually move to the group stages of the, you know, CAF Champions League for the first time in how many years? I don't think I know the last time Kotoko played a group stage in the CAF Champions League. I have to browse to look for that particular one because I have no idea. I think the CAF Confederation Cup group stages was... Um, uh, under CK Akana, yeah, I remember CK Akana. That was when Kotoko played their last CAF um, Confederation Cup group stage. I think well, it was 218, 218, 219, I think so, yeah. So that's basically all I have to say. I talked about the 21-man 21, 21 squad that's traveling to Bene for the Cardiogo game. And also talk about why Frank Ituga and Bella is not with the team. He's not fit. I also talked about why he hasn't you know moved or been transferred to any club despite the rumors and you know the buzz that a lot of clubs from europe all over the world are actually uh, interested in him so i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please subscribe and hit that notification bell let's get to 10,000 subscribers i think that's all for today till next time guys goodbye Tonight,